What surprises most people in society, on the other hand, is the fact that there are thousands, and I do mean thousands, of people who have successfully changed their feelings, behavior, and identity as homosexual or gay or whatever word one wants to use for it. Um, and in fact, we had testify in our court, in court on our behalf several people who actually gone through the process and it, and it successfully changed. Well, the judge uh, let them talk? <laughs> the judge let them talk. However, the, uh, for exa let me give an example of one guy who happened to be a Catholic fellow who went through our program, who was so angry now that he's writing his biography uh, and, and, and because the judge basically said to him, what happened was that he had been involved with over a thousand men sexually. He was involved in s and He was in, into drugs. He was into alcohol, whole series of things. And uh, he basically prayed in front of, uh, I think it was St. Joseph or something, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and said, uh, please give me the strength to change. What happened was that he then, uh, a few hours later, went to confession and talking to the priest in the confessional box, the priest said, uh, oh, yes, uh, you, there is a Catholic organization called Courage you ought to uh, uh, connect with. And then there's this other Jewish organization called Jonah, which refers people to counselors. And perhaps those two organizations can give you some assistance in what your desire is to change your sexual orientation. And indeed, so and, and then after, so after he contacted us, we then referred him to a therapist who worked with him for like 10 or 12 sessions uh, for which he was paid, and then the, the fellow said that I have no more money left. And so our therapist then worked with him for free for another two years. He's now clean, sober, chaste, dating women, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and uh, he, unfortunately, uh, the judge said after he testified, oh, well, he had a religious conversion. Well, so how did that help the... the therapeutic stuff you're doing. Well, wait a minute, Judge. Didn't you hear him say that that was the motivation for him to change, but then he had to do the detailed work to actually change? Well, this fellow is, is so angry at the judge's comment about that, of his testimony, that, as I say, he's now writing his biography, uh, which uh, I've seen about half of it, and it's, it's pretty good. And it, it's going to go into his whole history of how he got to where he was and how, of course, how he got out of where he was. There is an antagonism to religions, Catholicism, Orthodox Judaism, that, that admit of a moral code that the culture just doesn't like. You go in front oh, of a judge or a panel or you know, an appellate court or whatever, and you breathe a word about anything like that, or they even assume it, and they just bring out the Tommy gun, and that's it, you're gone. <laughs> 